Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and not too long ago, Signage and Mod introduced a feature known as Theme Engine. And what that basically came with is the ability for developers to create themes, much like OEMs like Samsung and HTC create skins like Sense and TouchWiz for custom ROMs though. So developers can create a theme that would change the icons, the fonts, wallpapers, uh, boot animation, sound packs, and soft keys, icons, colors, a bunch of different things about that custom ROM. And then users could go ahead and download it and use it with any ROM that has the theme engine. So I asked you guys on Google Plus if you guys are interested in seeing some videos from me about themes and you guys seemed to be in favor of that. So I went ahead and downloaded the L for Signage Mod 11 and Paranoid Android theme available in the Play Store. And I'm gonna give you guys my full review of it now this theme should work on any Android ROM that has the theme engine built into it, uh, especially Signage Mod and Paranoid Android. It's about 173, I think, in the Play Store. And so let's go ahead and get started. So the L for Signage Mod 11 and Paranoid Android theme essentially seeks to bring the Android L developer version look to your Android device. So with that, it'll bring the icons, uh, the settings menu, the notifications, the quick toggles. It'll basically bring that look of Android L to your Android device. So if we go ahead and take a look at the lock screen, everything pretty much looks and works the same. You'll notice that the status bar icons look a little different, that Wi-Fi one does anyway. Uh, widgets still work the same. The lock actually looks a little different and it did change the wallpaper to the Android L developer preview one with an L on it. Uh, the notification shade and the quick toggles do look different, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So the functionality as mentioned is still the same you unlock and it will have a different wallpaper if you go ahead and apply the theme in full. But I went ahead and just, you know, use this wallpaper because I like this one. The icons are changed, but not all of them, unfortunately. Now the status bar icons, as mentioned, are changed. Uh, at least the uh, font of them, I believe is changed. And then the Wi-Fi icon is changed. I'm not sure about the airplane mode or the battery uh, icon. Heading up into the notification shade, we can see that the notification does have that white card look to it with a little bit of a preview picture and the notification toggles uh, are still here with that sort of green look, but we'll get to those in a second. Jump back into the notifications, you can still swipe down uh, with a long press or swipe down with two fingers to expand the notification. Uh, we can also, of course, swipe away to get rid of it or hit the clear all up top. Clicking the time will bring us right into the clock, and that may be a feature of the Signed Mod 11 ROM, but you can see that the slider looks a little different as well as the checkboxes look a little different. Swiping down and on into the notification toggles, uh, you can see that when we tap something, it turns on, of course, or off, uh, and a nice green sort of highlights it, but you don't get that nice little animation that comes along with Android L, unfortunately. Uh, maybe that can come. I'm not sure if the developer can actually bring that in a, in a theme. If not, it's not a big deal. You know, Android L will be out uh, not too long from now but it's nice that you at least get the look of Android L on your device. So opening the app drawer and swiping through, you can see that some of the icons are themed and some of them aren't. It's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, they are themed throughout the entire OS though. So you can see the multitasking icons are themed. The settings looks really nice. And this is probably one of my most favorite things of Android L is the white settings. You also got green accents throughout, which took me a little while to get used to. But one thing that does kind of turn me off about the theme is the fact that if you jump into status or you dive a little deeper into the settings like signs mod updates the theme goes back to black now i'm not sure if that's the way android l actually works or if that's a feature of the theme that's it's just not really themed in that area but it does kind of turn me off about it not a huge deal though now the dialer is themed of course uh, and it does match the Android L one also, of course. So you've got that nice teal-ish kind of looking blue, uh, maybe really light blue with a hint of green in there. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, not too much has really changed though since the dialer has recently got an update. But again, it works the same and it just looks really nice though. It's got that kind of updated feel. So the keyboard, which is perhaps my second most favorite thing right behind the settings of Android L so far, uh, it just looks really cool. It does take a little bit of get, getting used to because the keys are no longer separated by lines in between them. Instead, they're sort of all on one huge key with no separation. So as I mentioned, it does take a little bit to get used to, but it's not too bad. Uh, the space bar is sort of highlighted. As you can see, it's a lighter gray, so it's easier to see. It's a really nice looking keyboard. I really, really like the flat look and the colors of it. 
uh, pretty much it just makes it feel like you're using Android L. This keyboard though is available in the Play Store if you guys want that, a link will be down below. So be sure to check the description after the video. And if you guys are wondering, those left and right arrows actually are part of the custom ROM CyanogenMod 11. So the power menu has also gotten a little bit of a new look. Uh, it's got that green uh, sort of highlighted color. You've got more of a flat look. The icons are a little different. One thing that kind of actually, I guess, not really bothered, but just kind of had me questioning why is the vibration mode. In the status bar, the toggle or the icon rather is a little thunderbolt. And I wasn't sure why vibration would be a little thunderbolt. Um, that's just how the developer made it. But it's not a huge deal. It's just something that I noticed that me personally, just it kind of sticks out. It looks a little funny next to the other ones. But again, it's not a huge deal if you guys can get over it. So overall, this theme is a really cool looking theme. It's got a couple things that kind of bother me about it, like the vibration icon up in the right corner for the vibrate mode. Uh, it's also got that dark theme if you dig deeper into the settings. The fact that not all of the icons are themed is a little bit of a bummer. But for the most part, it's an awesome theme. I really, really like the settings. I like the green accents. I like the fact that I can get the Nexus 4, any phone pretty much that's running CyanogenMod 11 or Paranoid Android to get that Android L look on it. But I don't have to flash the developer preview that's got bugs and things like that to make it not stable for daily use. So that's pretty much it. A really, really nice theme that allows you to get the Android L look without having to flash the developer preview. That was L for CyanogenMod 11 and Paranoid Android. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down there for more. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. Link for this will be down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.